the article. A S M R. The universe has a language that the world we live in uses. But it's not made of 26 letters, it's made of scars and bruises. It doesn't write its words on paper, it writes upon our skin. So many dots and dashes that we can't tell where they begin. We don't understand this language that the world we live in speaks, so we mistake its poems and poses as a sign of being weak. We hate our scars and bruises, hide them away so no one sees, instead of stating proudly Look at what the world wrote just for me. A lot of scars and bruises will slowly fade away. But there will always be those special few that the world made sure would stay. Savor these scars and bruises. For if you wait for long enough time, you'll find someone with the faith and love to decipher every line. I stumbled across a grain of truth. In the sun's last drops of light, as I stood out in my garden and watched the fruit bats daily flight, they moved as though united. Their flapping wings in a silent dance, and as they flew above me, I stood frozen in a trance. The flight conveyed such beauty, but had no thoughts of who would see, and I wondered if they realized how much I wished that could be me. Then, as I looked, I noticed that my life was a dance too, and I was connected to the world in ways I never even knew. The heartbeat of the planet keeps a steady even beat that echoes in the ribcage for every creature that we meet. I now know it's foolish thinking there's just one thing I can be, because I am the universe, and the universe is me. I'm here to share a secret. I'm not who I've always been. The world that lies outstretched before me is not the only one I've seen. I've travelled on the tales of comets. I've burned up in the 
hearts of stars. I've been spat out of supernovas that left me scattered near and far. I have dined in distant galaxies and taught the birds to sing. I've danced for a whole lifetime upon Saturn's dusty rings. I've been here for long enough to learn what makes the willow weep. I've sung celestial lullabies that sent the moon to sleep. I've been both the flowing water and the stone that blocks its way. I've been frozen, I've been molten, and I'll be again someday. Though I've been a billion things, this is the first one that can smile. I'm pieces of the universe, living as a human. You think you can define me, that I'm a tick in just one box, like my being is a door that a single key unlocks, but let me tell you something, I have the universe inside. I hold an untamed ocean with a constant changing tide. I'm home to endless mountains with tips that touch the sky. Flocks of grand migrating birds and deserts harsh and dry. Sweeping plains, I feel in waves of sunshine or in unrelenting rains. Don't tell me that you know me, that this right here is what you are. I am the universe in motion, for I was born. You may not believe in magic, but you don't think it's strange that the amount of matter in our universe has never slightly changed. That all the which, that all which makes your body is one a part of something more, and every breath you ever breathe has seen it all before. There are countless scores of beauty in all the things that you despise. It could once have been a shooting star that now makes up your thighs. And atoms of forgotten lives who've long since ceased to roam 
may now have the greatest honor to call your correct smile at home. You may not believe in magic, but I thought you should know the makings of your heart were born 14 billion years ago. So next time you feel lonely, when this world makes you feel small, just remember that it's part of you, and you're part of it all. When you were young, and scared of nothing, you were enchanted by the moon, and a field of glowing stars that clung to the ceiling of the room. You drew lines to link their beauty, make constellations of your own, an explorer of the universe with your warm bed for a throne and you remember one cold evening when those stars had lost their light how you grabbed your favourite sweater and padded out into the night and the sight that lay above you made your tiny heart start as a sea of glinting sunlight danced on the world's now darkened ceiling. But though the stars strung high above you claimed you were part of it all, you couldn't stop their large expanse from making you feel small. For despite all of the lines you drew, constellations stayed the same, and every star you made your own already had a name. But listen, young explorer, for a star's light can be slow, and the ones you see above you were made a long, long ago, and though the world wouldn't see it, till the earth's a lot more worn, the moment that you saw the sky, a brand new star was born. Our lives are one big puzzle. We don't know how many pieces we've got. There are people who fit in quite nicely, and people who try but do not. We're constantly adding more pieces. All the memories of things we've been through. and tears, and adventure, and the lessons we've learned to be true. Everyone has their own puzzle. There will be ones where you do not fit. Don't you ever dare make your peace smaller, just so you can live there for a bit. off all your edges, 
One day you won't recognize what you see And you'll forget the person you once were Before the world told you who you should be Make the most of each piece in your puzzle It'll be a grand masterpiece when it's done so you won't have to look back when it's over and realize you've left out the sun. Have you ever heard of the planet? Hold its breath before a storm Like an audience in wait Before the curtains are withdrawn It's the gentle buzz of wild things Straining leaves across the sky The steady thrum of wings Taking their owners somewhere dry Then for a second is nothing but the beat of nature's heart until as though its lungs have burst the grey sky rips itself apart and just like that the earth's alive as it collectively exhales the wind whips through the trees while they all bend beneath its wail. Then, as the first drop falls, there is a gasp and then a pause before it seems the whole world breaks into a deafening applause. She told me that the ocean had been calling out her name And when the tide came out each evening She felt like she should do the same The waves tugged at her ankles As they pulled around her feet Whispering of wonders That she still was yet to meet But every time I asked her, she simply said, this avid world had turned her deep heart dry. There was just one way she knew of, to finally feel she was free, and it was 14,000 feet beneath the cold stormy sea, then early. In November, she slipped like water from her hands, left nothing but her salty breath or footprints in the sand. And I hope she found the ocean made up of things this world has held lacked. Well, she left a note to say goodbye and then never came back. You are not your age, nor the size of clothes you wear. You are not your weight, or the colour of your hair. You are not your name, or the dimples in your cheeks. You are all the book 
books you read and all the words you speak. You are your croaky morning voice and the smiles you try to hide. You're the sweetest in your laughter and every tear you've cried. You're the songs you sing so loudly when you know you're all alone. You're the places that you've been to and the ones that you call home. You're the things that you believe in and the people that you love. You're the photos of your bedroom and the future you dream of. You're made of so much beauty. A collection of poems by Erin Hansen. Read by the Oracle. You'll find a list of all the classical pieces listed in the description below. I hope you enjoyed. And if you'd like more of this, please be sure to let me know in the comments. Who's your favourite poet? And what are your favourite poems?